college school year. I hope that you are too. Elite gaming live and lots of other things you can do. But a big part of being involved in your school is doing what you're doing right now. Sitting and listening to the person who's talking, being respectful of the other people around you, and maybe even raising your hand to answer a question and contribute to what's going on in class. It's not that difficult to do. You all, again, we're going to push you hard. You've got to be able to accept that positive struggle, understand the responsibility you have of being a student here at Bell Ring. Your best for me. My skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yet I'm on that stage light going shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track busting. Halfway across that city with the back. To the people, spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people, spread it across the country. Here we go back, this is the moment. Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us. Like the ceiling. I'm Heaven. And I'm Sam. It's time for your morning announcements. Please stand for the pledge. Today is Wednesday, August 16th. Today is National Tell a Joke Day. What's for lunch today? Today's lunch will be a walking taco with bulk burritos, pepperoni bosco sticks with cheese, Italian chef salad, tuna salad sandwich, chicken, and chicken salad sandwich. Our sides will be refried beans, broccoli with cheese, and mixed vegetables. Oprah, Win Oprah Winfrey tells Vogue magazine about her weight problems and emotional issues. She also talked about her relationship with her boyfriend, Stedman Graham. At age 63, Oprah told the magazine she does not apologize for anything in her life. Brian Northup from New Jersey ordered pizza from Domino's every day for a year, but he ended up actually losing weight. He lost 5.9 pounds, even though he ate a whole box of pizza every day. Northup wrote about his experience on social media. In a recent court settlement, Costco owes Tiffany, Tiffany Company famous for their engagement rings, more than $19.3 million for selling rings to people that had the Tiffany name on them. Costco is appealing the court's decision, saying that it is the name of the type of ring, not a copy of the company's name. Now to James with your sports report. In national news, Ryan Matthews was given a clean bill of health and the Philadelphia Eagles cut the veteran running back tennis and football games will be tomorrow at 5.30. 7th and 8th grade volleyball both lost to Fall Creek, but boys tennis beat Fall Creek, and boys soccer lost, but the girls won. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, James. Just a reminder, students, you may not take your Chromebooks home today, and until further notice, Mr. Harshaw will let you know when you may take them home. Bells and Clubs will begin in September. More information, more information coming. If any club sponsors have information for BTV to pass along, please email Ms. Trotter this week. This day in history, in 2008, Usain Bolt sets a new 100 meters world record of 9.69 seconds at the Beijing 2008 Summer Olympics. Our celebrity birthday today is Young Thug, best known for being a rapper, songwriter, and record producer. The quote of the day is from Marilyn Monroe, who once said, When it comes down to it, I let people think what they want, and if they care enough to bother with what I do, I already know I'm better than them. Work hard today, Bruins. Now to Mr. Harshall with the rest of your morning announcements. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Bruins.
Good morning, Bruins. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Wednesday. I do have one. I do have one uh, announcement. Uh, I was informed this morning that we do have a uh, company here today that is replacing dispense soap dispensers in all of our restrooms, which is good news. Um, but students throughout the day, they're going to do their best to um, only close down one restroom. As they do the. Work. I wanted to make sure you were aware if you uh, head to a restroom and there's tape across the door or a sign that says. Center. Um, we're trying to make some improvements in the in the school in the restrooms and uh, just make sure you go to a different restroom during that time. Um, that's the only real piece of information that I had and I believe that I am turning it over to Mr. Bergman um, for our continued work with Chromebooks. As our anchors mentioned we have not yet given the green light for any Chromebooks to be checked out and taken home. Teachers I know that you're aware of that we are working through to make sure that students are educated about the do's and don'ts and how to utilize the uh, computers the right way before we decide to go ahead and let them go home. So if you are assigning homework, um, make sure that you are doing so without uh, the expectation of having those devices just yet. I will communicate with you when it's time to do so. So I will now turn it over to Mr. Bergman. Everybody, please make sure that you are giving him your undivided attention so that you understand all of the information you need to about your Chromebook. Thanks and have a great day. Over to Mr. Bergman. Good morning, students. Uh, today we're going to go over a couple of helpful resources, um, digital resources that we have for you. Um, starting off with Canvas. Um, in all of your Canvas courses, you're going to have a couple important um, things that you need to know about. One of which is every teacher should have a home page that looks like this. Um, it'll have a weekly agenda um, that will direct you and your parents to know where you can find important stuff about um, what your teacher is teaching that day, what you're supposed to be learning. Uh, in case you are absent or have to leave for an appointment, you can always go here and know exactly where to go to find out what you missed. So, for example, this is this is Ms. Mrs. Hinton's class for seventh grade, and she has it noted here that you can always check her Canvas calendar to know exactly what you have missed that day. Um, but you also have information about your course, the grading policy, and the material needed. So you always know what you need and what's expected of you in every class. Uh, another really important thing, uh, if you went to Lawrence Township Schools last year, you're probably not going to need to worry about this too much. But if you're new to our district, uh, you want to make sure that you sync your Google Drive. So on every single Canvas page, there's a link, or, I'm sorry, every single Canvas course, there is a link that's Google Drive. And if you click on that, it's going to um, pop up with this. So this student is a good example because they need to authorize their account. Um, this will allow you to submit um, Google Docs and slides and assignments for your courses. So it's important that you click on there and make sure that you authorize your Google account with your Canvas account. Um, and that way you're able to submit your work. So if you're having any issues, that's where you need to start. Uh, another really important feature that you need to know about is the BMS launch page. Again, there is a link right here on every single Canvas course. Clicking that will take you to this page. And you want to open it in a new tab, and you'll get this. Um, this has quick links to important sites like Skyward um, or Reading Plus. Um, also, uh, IXL and Hero. Um, after Labor Day, we'll be talking about your personalized Hero accounts where you can track your points, um, and you'll be able to redeem those during Hero store days in the cafeteria where you're able to buy stuff um, like snacks and food or Belzer gear. Um, but after Labor Day, we'll be coming out with that with your account so that you're able to actually see how many points you have. Um, but this is quick links to be able to access these sites like Skyward to check all your grades. You want to be making sure you're checking your grades regularly in Skyward to make sure you're not missing anything. Um, We've also got some quick links here for some important stuff. There's a Google Startup Guide. So if you're struggling with how to use Google Drive or Docs or anything else, there is a Startup Guide here that can help walk you through some of the little um, uh, need-to-knows. There's also, um, if you need to know more about your Chromebook and like how to do certain key, uh, shortcuts on the keyboard or well, how the certain features work, there's lots of information in, in here. Um, we also have access to the Indianapolis Public Library. So you can actually check out books um, digitally and have them delivered here to the, uh, the Belzer Library, the Belzer Media Center. Um, and you can do that from there. Um, another really important thing is, is a lot of kids are asking, how do I go see a counselor? How do I get a schedule change? Okay, the only way to really do that is to email your counselors. That's Mr. Landers for the eighth grade, and his email is linked right here, and you just click on it, and you'll be able to send him an email with a request to come see him. Or the same for seventh grade, that's Mrs. Neal, and you can click here to send her an email and request to see her about anything. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, we have issues of bullying in our school. 
And um, we want to make sure that we're, 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 we're making a safe environment for all students. So if you see someone being bullied or you're being bullied, you can report that. And you can even do so anonymously if you need to um, by clicking here. So if it's a seventh grade incident, you would click this link. If it's eighth grade, you'd click this link. And you would report the incident. And then uh, one, of our, uh, one of our administrative staff will, will make sure to help you with that. Um, also, uh, we have a grief counseling group. If you click on here, you can, you can register for that. Um, and Mr. Landers will, will assist you with that. We also have contacts for our, our assistant principals if you need to speak to um, an assistant principal. After Labor Day, we will be signing up for clubs, and you'll be able to do that here. The Belzer blog, um, that is our uh, school newspaper, and that will be being published very soon, and you'll be able to read the paper there. Usually during college prep um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays when it comes out, teachers will allow you to log in and read the school newspaper, and that's how you'll access it. Um, we have book talks occasionally on BTV that you can sign up for. Um, if you miss a BTV um, uh, airing and you would like to watch it, every day all BTV uh, broadcasts are uploaded to our school YouTube channel, and you can watch it there. Um, we also have access to bell schedules, two-hour delay, the calendar for the year, the school webpage, uh, the student handbook. So if you're ever unsure about any school rules, you can look there. Our tardy policy. Um, which, as you know, tardies are now in effect. We are issuing hero passes for tardies. Um, so that's, that's there if you need to know how many, uh, what's going to happen to you after you get so many tardies. That's all listed there in the tardy policy. Um, there's also some how-to guides and also information on our core four. So this is our student launch page. And again, the way to access this is from any Canvas course. Any of your Canvas courses, you can go into it, and there's going to be a BMS launch page link. And that'll take you there, and that is how you can access important sites, contact a uh, administrator or a school counselor, um, report bullying, um, or even check out a book. Okay, That's it for today, Bruins. Let's make it a great day.